Hi, it is Marie and I am back again today with another video. So I had a difficult time trying to figure out what I was going to talk about today. Um, and that's because my cerebral palsy in the last two weeks, um, but I guess really in the last month, um, has um, been generating a lot of difficulty for me. I'm having difficulty controlling my muscles, um, uh, having control over my fine motor skills, um, and I'm just really having trouble doing basic things. Um, I'm constantly tripping over myself um, and, and having trouble doing basic things um, and relaxing my muscles and all of that. I just feel very stiff and uh, part of that m might be because I'm anxious but I just feel all this stress and stiffness in my muscles and in my body um, and you know cerebral palsy is not progressive and my understanding of that is the the brain damage that causes um, the difficulty in communication between muscles does not get worse um, however um, as I've kind of observed over the years that does not mean the effects of cerebral palsy can't get worse. I think over the years, if I'm going to observe from childhood um, to where I'm at today, it's I've I've noticed that I've that I've kind of shed some of my ability to do things, um, and it's it's kind of weird how it evolves, um, and it makes me wonder what the future will be like. Um, whether this be pain, um, whether this be trouble controlling my actions, um, tripping, I, I, I trip a lot more than I ever have, um, and I think the, the progression and the evolving of, of these effects, uh, really happened, um, when I was 16 or so, um, maybe 14, I started to Cerebral palsy started to become very significant, more significant in my life than it never had before. You know, when I was a child, I could control it, um, control my actions, control my muscles. Um, but, like, what I noticed was it started to change right around when I was 10. Um, when I, you know, I would take a picture um, and, and, I remember this distinctly. When I was 10, I had my picture taken and I, I blinked and my eyes shut right as the flash came on. Um, and it, it had never happened to me before. Um, but from then on, I can't take a picture without blinking or shutting my eyes, I guess I should say. Should say. Um, and and I noticed it too with with uh, scare tactics. I get a lot more jumpy when people try to scare me. Um, when I was younger, I did not have this problem. Um, so it's like I could just hear like something fall, and I would just jump. Like it, it, and it's it's not just a little jump. It's like everything stops jump. Um, but so yeah, I've I've noticed that over the years it, it evolves and and the pain evolves and what I can and can't do evolves, um, and so I just, I I don't know what the future will be like, um, and I, I I don't know what abilities I will lose, um, and and to some extent it scares me because I'm. I'm seeing myself slowly um, become more of a more of a danger to myself, if you will. Um, you know, if I if I eat something and I don't swallow correctly, I've been having a lot of troubles with that, um, tripping, falling, and and whatever else. And so that just I I don't I don't know what to expect. Um, you know, I'm hoping that. <coughs> Sorry, I'm hoping that it it comes to an end at some point. Although I don't think it will, um, 
and maybe it's just part of the aging process. Um, but, but I don't know. Like right now, I just feel very um, discombobulated with my life. I, I walk around and I trip all the time now. Um, and I feel like I, I can't. Um, I feel like I'm losing a part of my mobility, if you will. Um, and so I just, you know, I wanted to talk about that because it's honestly like the one major thing on my mind right now. Um, and so I will say goodbye with that and I will see you in the next video.